뭐. 아, ma'am. Is it a spectacularly gorgeous, over the top beautiful day here in the end times in paradise at Bugs in a Jar Farm? I want to thank Brother Tyler for complimenting uh, me that I'm certainly looking, that I'm looking buff. I am looking buff recently. Thank you. I don't, <laughs> uh, anyway, I guess we have different definitions of buff. So anyway, guys, I just thought you might get a, get a laugh out of this. So I go to Arby's last night. Well, actually, it was it was a quarter to ten. I'm sorry, what is today? Today is Wednesday, August 23rd or 24th. 2022. So last night, I had, uh, it's a quarter to ten, and I'm starving. So I tried to go to Wendy's, but there were like 12 cars in the drive-through. I noticed that the drive-through at Arby's was uh, completely empty because nobody goes to Arby's, and so I go in there and looking over the menu. And they, I'm glad to mention that Arby's no longer just sells roast beef. You know, Arby's, RB, roast beef. So they've gone into the chicken sandwich business. So they're bringing out, I don't know if this is a new one, but they have this special that this chicken sandwich is some sort of chicken ranch. Can't remember the exact name. The, the, the goddamn thing costs $5.39. But for a limited time only, you can buy two of these sons of bitches for $6. So for $0.60, cents, you get the second sandwich. So uh, obviously, I spent the extra $0.60. Cents. I figured I had my lunch covered. So anyway, I'm, uh, I want you to check, out, check this sandwich out. So you get the thing, you, you know, and you look at this. And you look at this sandwich, and this is kind of, you know, you're, you're ready to bite in to the bun, and, and that's what you're looking at. Or you go to the other side of the sandwich, and, and that's what you're looking at. So, I, I don't know. Uh, maybe it's just me being a Virgo. So, I thought when I was biting into this thing that I, that the, that I was buying this big chicken patty. Some crazy idea that $5.39 to buy you a big chicken patty. So today, I took the sandwich apart, you know, so I could reheat the chicken and look inside. <laughs> look inside the sandwich. There's no meat in the middle. There's no meat. In the fucking middle, and instead of giving you a goddamn patty to fill up the bun, they give you these two little chicken strips on the outside uh, of the sandwich. And uh, <laughs> so I, I love uh, their new slogan: "You have the meats." Is the uh, is Arby's new slogan? You have the meats. As I, actually, I think Arby's has the meats in case you want it. you don't know this is Arby's new slogan you have the meats if I can get it to play Arby's, we have the meats. oh they have the meats they sure as hell do have the meats I thought it it says it says here you have the meats but then you go listen to their slogan and they fucking admit they have the meats. They have the fucking middle of my chicken sandwich. They sure as hell have that piece of meat. The one that was supposed to be in the middle of my fucking sandwich. So anyway. So this is my second one of these goddamn things. So I'm sitting here looking for a rant to do. I'm uh procrastinating from having to go back to work on the tiny house. So, I was all set to bring you this uh, rant about this new article off of Motherboard about UFOs 
how you know Vice News's motherboard uh, department has a good article about how the U.S. government is supposedly taking UFOs more seriously and admitting that some of these things have no earthly explanation. So I was all set to do that, but then I called up that article and I off off in the sidebar I saw something that had that completely blows space aliens and UFOs out of the water. So never let it be said that uh, Humpty Dumpty Tribe does not bring you news you can use. So this is Yahoo News. This is straight off the mainstream media. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And I We have this uh, earth shattering news story. McDonald's is bringing this beloved, this beloved UK sandwich to America. Um, I don't believe it, guys. My prayers have been answered. Um, maybe yours have too, because when I stopped eating beef, you know, to save the planet. When I stopped eating beef, good God, 12 years ago, one of the hardest things about doing that is I was never going to be able to eat another fucking Big Mac as long as I live. Because I don't eat beef. I'm saving the planet by eating uh, fast food chicken. And so I'm just thinking... Now, I remember thinking, why the fuck can't they just make a chicken Big Mac? You know, what's so fucking hard? Just make the goddamn Big Mac, but trade out the goddamn beef for chicken. Well, it took 2008, 14 years, 14 years. You know, sometimes if you just hold that vision, unbelievable. Here it is. We have the chicken Big Mac. Halla fucking Luya. This is trending. This is trending news on. Uh, Alright. A Big Mac with chicken swapped in for beef could be in the cards for U.S. McDonald's customers very soon. Hmm. And we should all thank the internet for that. I don't go. We're gonna thank the internet. The chicken Big Mac, which UK customers are already familiar with. I'm I'm surprised that Andy the gardener. Uh, I'm surprised that Andy the gardener has never done a rave review of the uh, McDonald's chicken Big Mac. Uh, is made with two crispy tempura chicken patties. Hmm. I assume they mean not two chicken fingers, but two chicken patties. That's the word they use to describe it. Alright. Two crispy tempura chicken patties, Big Mac sauce, pickles, shredded lettuce, and American cheese. Uh, which is what I'm enjoying now. American cheese is definitely an oxymoron. All right. No onion? Does do Big Macs have onion on them or not? McDonald's announced recently that it will be testing the chicken version of its signature sandwich at select locations in Miami. God damn it, I'm going to have to move to Miami. Fuck. 
Well, that settles it. I know where the hell I'm spending my winter this year. I'm, I'm spending my winter in Miami, Florida. So I can have a chicken Big Mac every day. All right, so they're going to test run it in Miami after its huge success earlier this year in the UK. Um, and then they link you to other stories. But this, in case you're not aware of this, and I think we all are, this is not the first time McDonald's has seen success with an international menu item. Hmm. Back in 2019, the chain decided to give Americans a taste of what they are missing by offering a worldwide favorites menu for a limited time. This must have gone on completely under my radar back in 2019. Okay, that menu included the Grand Mac Extreme, the Grand Mac Extreme Bacon Burger from Spain, the Stroop Waffle McFlurry from the Netherlands, the Tomato Mozzarella Chicken Sandwich from Canada, and don't forget, which I never heard about, the cheesy bacon fries from Australia. Unfortunately, Worldwide Favorites was a limited time promotion, and McDonald's is mostly stuck to hyping its Popeyes competition and flopping at an impossible Whopper competition. I've, I've had a videos on the impossible whopper uh, from Burger King and, and guys they're they're damn good uh, of course they closed the fucking Burger King in Ithaca New York a out of all these goddamn places they could have closed they chose Burger King so you cannot get an impossible whopper which is what I would have gotten last night had they not closed the fucking Burger King and I ended up with these two little uh, chicken fingers. They are pretty good, though. Okay. More recently, McDonald's debuted a hacked menu consisting of existing menu items which you could buy in a bundle and reassemble into new creations suggested by McDonald's. For example, the hash brown McMuffin involves placing a hash brown in your McMuffin. Yes, while the land, air, and sea sandwich combines a Big Mac, a McChicken, which I guess is the air, and a filet of fish Yes. Instead of coming up, where the hell is the uh, cursor on this? Instead of coming up with brand new ideas for its U.S. menu, sometimes it feels like McDonald's is reliant upon social media movements to do the actual innovating for them. Mm-hmm. Even the Chicken Big Mac is something people on the internet have suggested long before it made its way onto a menu search. Search Twitter for Big Mac but with chicken and it's like everyone on earth was thinking the same thing at roughly the same time. Hallelujah. Everybody on earth was thinking the same thing at the same time. Now, so this is what I'm down to in my sandwich. So the chicken ends here because 
Arby's has my meats, there is no chicken from this point to this point. No chicken whatsoever. <laughs> so, I guess if I want the tomato, so you see how big this sandwich is, so how much does the actual chicken cover? All right. <laughs> this is how much actual chicken I have left. This has no chicken in it, guys. Oh, God. These fucking corporations, man. All right. Listening to what your customers want is a fantastic way to approach menu planning. But how do we know which please? Which please will grab McDonald's attention? For example, plenty of people have been waiting for the return of the McRap. The McRap, myself included, but McDonald's has made it clear that won't be happening in the near future, if at all. Yeah, at the same time, McDonald's bringing things back after we plead for them is always a newsworthy story. Yes, it is. McDonald's bringing things back after we clueless fucking moron fat asses plead for them is always a newsworthy story. So it would be in the chain's best interest to continue taking requests. When your audience literally tells you exactly what they want to see, it seems like a promotional slam dunk to deliver it to them. But then, of course, they might start to wonder why those items can't simply stick around forever. And we have 66 comments. And this is from Mommy Dearest. Personally, I would be happier if they would bring back the McDLT 14 thumbs up and 6 replies. Oh God. So I guess I'll have to go to goddamn Miami to get that fucking Chicken Big Mac I've been waiting around for since 2008. But right now... I gotta finish this lunch and take my buff body back to work. Maybe we'll get to UFOs tonight when the space aliens return to Vice News. Bye, guys. Oh, God.